video, we're gonna go over that knob. This is one of my buddy's car. The what is burnt? So the diff exploded. Well, no, I want to create some. Uh... <laughs> What's up, guys? And welcome to another edition of the vlog. Today, we're at my friend's shop, Garage Porch. And they're gonna be working on the C250. So they specialize in Audis, but they can do Porsches, Mercedes Benz, BMWs, even like crazy stuff. My friend used to work at like a supercar shop, so he knows how to like work on a bunch of crazy stuff. So this is one of my buddy's cars. It's an RS5. This thing is insane. I think he's tuned the exhaust and he has a carbon tastic steering wheel which you can't really see right there. So in the title of the video, I already blew what I was gonna show you guys, but the Mercedes-Benz uh, C250 is gonna be my new project car. So I always wanted an E92, but E92 M3 prices right now, or any car actually, is just through the roof, right? I was driving a Tesla before, I'm gonna return that, and then my brother has a C250. He moved on to an SQ5, and this thing is kind of just like, sitting there so i i was like you know what this would be a perfect opportunity to just rice it out <laughs> so we're heading in here in my friend's shop so huge shout out to the guys here at garage horse jonathan vince and nam an awesome team they're here located in montclair california i'll put the address down in the description down below but let's go inside here and check out the place walking in already you can already see a bmw steering wheel right there my buddy from carbon Tastic has a display here so we have an r7 steering wheel forgot what that one was one for the gti and another one for an m5 right there but here it is here's the c250 so in this video we're gonna go over all the kind of issues that this car has because my brother really didn't take good care of this car at all and it's going to be cool to see the transformation from like bad to great. Right now, we're going to do an oil change, brake service, and the differential was leaking. That's Nom, one of my good buddies here. We're going to go over what the hell is wrong with this thing. It needs an oil change. Uh, the coolant looks kind of whack. The brakes, yeah, the brakes, differential needs to be serviced. But going into here, the freaking door was broken. This happens when you don't unlock the car and just keep pulling on the latch every single time to unlock the car. So the mechanism in here here broke. To replace this whole, to actually just replace the, the mechanism, you have to buy the whole door and got, that costs like a thousand bucks, which is ridiculous. So going into here, the stock to uh, essentially adjust this broke. The interior here is kind of messed up. The exterior is kind of rough like you have a scratch right there you have a few other like dings and shit but so what we're gonna do here with this thing so i decided to buy a bunch of cheap ass parts see how good they are but they look like the c63 diffuser and front grill and all that stuff so i'm gonna try to make this thing as look as much as a c63 as possible just because the c63 looks freaking baller you know what i mean uh, so rear diffuser front grill Rear, uh, front splitter. I'm gonna put a new ducktail on this thing. Yeah, that's just some of the mods, and I'm obviously gonna put a quad exhaust. Actually, really excited. So I told the guys everything I'm gonna do, and I also want to wrap this car. So I already have a color in mind that I want to wrap this in, but I want to know your opinions on what color I should wrap it. Like, should I wrap it like a silver, a gray, white, black? No, I'm, since you've wrapped cars before, uh, when it comes to like uh, messed up bumpers and stuff. How do you let the carbon? Uh, let, how do you let the vinyl like stick? Um, like, do you just super glue it? We would just probably just wrap it up to a certain point uh -huh. and leave that part exposed because oh, we would have to fix it first. Yeah, that's nothing you could do. Yeah, right? we'd have to fix it first or just sand it down mm -hmm. and then get it to stick like that. So Nam used to wrap cars, and uh, he's a professional. This car also needs to be super detailed, so I'm gonna get that done too. But everything basically getting done with this car, I'm gonna document. I haven't even told my brother yet, the one that normally drives this car, that I'm gonna do this. So he's in for a surprise. And I wanna see if he ends up taking this after I mod it and then gets and dumps the SQ5 and gives it back to me. You're not gonna tell him? <laughs> no, I didn't tell him, no. I'm just gonna do it and then see what he says. Uh, that's an option. Yeah, because he literally took the SQ5 and just like dumped this car there. I'm like, okay. 
I, I thought I was gonna use the SQ5, but okay, I guess. So the thing with this car, it, the transmission sucks and the turbo takes a lot of time to kind of spool up. So like when you're, when you're trying to like speed up or like trying to pass someone, literally there's like a five second delay before any power or before like your transmission kind of knows what like what's going on. So I'm also going to buy uh, a transmission box or like a, a drive by wire box or whatever the hell it's called. Changes the shift times and how the engine engages. And yeah. Oh, and I'll probably put a new intake so it can go. So there's a lot of potential with this thing in regards to mods. And I got to take you through the process of every single little thing I fix. The what is burnt? The is burnt. Why? <laughs> how, what does that mean? Did you drive the crap out of it? No, no, or so, like... By hot spotting, you can see these lines here. Mm -hmm. you, see, you see how it's not mm -hmm. smooth, like just silver shine? Yeah. These are hot spots right here. All these little spots here are just hot spots. So in other words, when the rotor gets way too hot, and so it, it's possible when it gets way too hot spotted that as you're braking, the rotor gets, or it's it gets warped oh. as well. And so I don't know if you're feeling when you're breaking that it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. it does yeah. feel like that. So, I mean, at some we point... We would have to replace the rotors if you wanted to get into that. I don't... I didn't buy rotors. I only bought... Did you want us to get rotors? I mean, if we could do it today. Yeah, let me see. Wait, when the when the Honda leaks and it leaks for 100,000 miles, it, it looks, looks like, like that? Yeah, that's, that's when you have to use freaking WD-40. That's not good. Yeah. This literally... The WD-40 smells like bug spray. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's why we use it on now. I'm <laughs> So we're probably gonna take this thing off. We're gonna take that thing off, and obviously the muffler. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna leave the cat. Just the cat? Yeah. Well, because I wanted to pass some still just in case. Just don't leave the cat in the car. You don't want it to die. Huh? Wait, what? Oh, this is the cat. Yeah. That's the cat. So you made a joke, but I it totally went over. It's a bad joke. So yeah, we're gonna take this thing off, so it sounds meaty, but. I don't know. I I think I should keep maybe a muffler maybe or the rears. So maybe take this out and this out. And leave those two rears. Well, there's not two. There's only one. I mean the one. Sorry. Well, but what leave if I want to do another pipe right here? Because look, I'm gonna take this off, route something from there to here. So I'll get a shop to like cut it and then route something to both ends so I can do a quad thing. Oh, uh, or I could do I could get the fake quad pipe where it basically cuts. It cuts right here, and it routes. It has two exhaust, uh, two exhaust, and it routes another one from here all the way to right there, which I think looks stupid. I'd rather have the. I'd rather have some shop do the quad, right? I think the quad would be better. Yeah. What does it mean if it's an active leak? Yeah, it means it's leaking right now. It's leaking. It's leaking as it freaking goes. I mean, is there such thing as a deactivated leak? Yes. When it's not so leaking on Audis, when a water pump or thermostat leaks coolant, yeah, the coolant can dry up and it can stop the leak. This is Vince. He's part of the Garage Horse team too. So you're gonna guys see him in the big Euro SoCal video that I still haven't uploaded yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I still haven't edited. It's been like months. See where it's leaking from. So the diff exploded. No. Well, no. I want to create some. Uh, <laughs> what do you call this? Some drama suspense. in the video, so suspense. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, the dip exploded. Yeah. So basically, they they filled it up. Wait, did you guys fill it up? Yeah, no. Yeah. You, but then, how do you do the detection for the le leakage thing? Oh, and then it'll show you where it's leaky, leaky. Yeah. Nice. So they filled it up. Wait, how do you guys fill? How do you fill up a diff? There's a fill and a drain. You're looking at the drain. Yeah. So this car is going through a major makeover. So we decided not to do the brakes today because we're gonna buy new rotors and it's just front rotors right it's not rear rotors this fronts, yeah. this fronts? your rears are good okay that's good all right that's fine so the rims are going back up uh so the diff got cleaned up and the leak thing is we're gonna find out next on next time's episode pretty much let's see if it's uh what do you call this where it's leaking from and what what we need to do but look how shiny that diff is probably been that's probably the cleanest it's ever been since they since it got installed. It's insane. It's like bright. Everything else is just like bleh. So the differential is finished. So we have the buttons here that we're gonna replace on the steering wheel at some point. I forgot there was another thing right there too. And since the door isn't really working properly, um, 
we're both, we're, uh, we're gonna we're gonna kind of fix it. These? So should I should I take out my glasses and all the stuff down there? Uh, just your lube. My lube. This would hurt. Guys, thank you for watching this episode. It got dark really really fast, but yeah, this is the the car BB and then the RS5 right here. You got the SQ5 and Vincis M3 over yonder so i'm pretty excited i don't know about you guys but i'm pretty excited about the build series for this thing just to see how how cool this can turn up i literally saw another c250 all done up on the road today and it looked pretty sick thank you guys for watching this episode it's been fun i totally missed this and we're definitely and this is the perfect reason why to make more youtube content so i mean to be honest i've been struggling to kind of like figure out like what can i possibly do uh youtube content wise you know like kind of like a series i always wanted to build the e92 but since it's too expensive right now i think this is actually really cool and getting the getting like uh like cheap parts from uh, i mean not really cheap but getting like trying to make this as inexpensive as possible trying to like convert this thing into something like super cool so anyways guys thanks for watching this episode and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out later